Hi everyone, Brett Ridgway here. I wanted to introduce to you an instrument that has become the love of my life. And uh, you know, I play several different instruments and I'm, I love playing claw hammer banjo. Uh, probably one of my favorites. I love hammer dulcimer, mountain dulcimer. I play the Anglo concertina more than all of the rest of them combined. I have absolutely fallen in love with this instrument. And I've always, always been intimidated by this instrument. I mean, you got all those buttons and all these buttons and, and they're not marked. There's nothing to show where, what notes they are. And that to me just terrified me. But this is not a difficult instrument. And I'm gonna give you a quick introduction just so you can see what I'm talking about. One thing is a lot of people think that you, when you're playing, you're playing with both hands like this. You're not, you're resting your left or your right on your, your left hand, if you're using your left side on your left knee, the right on the right side, and you're just really going in with the right side to move your bellows. So all these buttons, how do you know what goes where, what finger? All right, if you notice, you have an inside row, the one closest to you, you have a center row, and you have an outside row. All right, now the fingering for this is probably easier than any other instrument that I know of. Your pointer finger is always going to play and only going to play these top three buttons across. That's the same with this side, straight across. Your middle finger is only going to play the second three buttons. Your ring finger is only going to play the third and your pinky only the fourth and whatever is left down here, which you don't have to worry about that. You're not into that a whole lot. Uh, so, again, inside row, center row, outside row, pointer finger only does top, middle, second row, and then the, the uh, ring third, and that's the same on both sides. Now, I'm going to show you a G scale, and we are going to start on the inside row, the row closest to you if you're holding it, third button down, you're using your ring finger, that's your G, pull out on that same button, A, next button up, middle finger, your B, C, D, E, right hand side, F sharp, that's that top button, and G. The song I played, Shenandoah, was played only using those notes that I just showed you, that scale. So it is a very doable instrument. You, of course, have chords. Uh, which is a whole other thing. And then that sound there, that's an air button. Uh, when you use the air button, sometimes you run out of air. So what you do is you play the note, and when you push in, that lets it come in without any more note or uh, without this huffing sound. So this is a, such a fun instrument. Uh, it's just such a fun instrument. So if this is something you're interested in, uh, I'll be glad to help you. Uh, to locate one, uh, if you want the lessons there on coffee, by joining the group, uh, joining coffee as a supporter. And when you do that, those lessons are free. If you're not a supporter, the lessons are still there, but they do cost. Uh, so totally up to you, but I wanted to introduce this to you because it is such, such a fun instrument to play.